guys, Alice Mage here, and today I am showcasing Stitch Fix. So Stitch Fix is a subscription box that you can get between once every one month, so every month, or once every like couple of months. I have mine set to the longest period, which is once every three months, so you'd get four boxes a year. And Stitch Fix is pretty much a customized clothing box. So what you do is that you go online and you fill out all of your measurements and your sizes and things like that, what type of styles you enjoy, what styles you don't enjoy, things that you never want to see, and you can even give recommendations to the stylist of any events and things that you have coming up that you'd like an outfit for. After that, they'll start sending you boxes and you can go online every day to pretty much take like style quizzes where you rate something of if you'd wear it or if you'd not wear it. Stitch Fix has options both for men, women, and children. I decided to try Stitch Fix because I have a problem of not buying clothes that aren't black as shown. I wear a lot of black, I wear a lot of the same type of clothing, and I don't really branch out too much though I want to. So I got into Stitch Fix because I wanted to see what would happen if I was wear if I had someone pick out clothing for me that was a bit out of my comfort zone. So I rated my box as I'll wear anything and I want to be adventurous, so just kind of send me whatever. And I can say that it gets better, the boxes do, the more that you get because the stylist is able to see which pieces you ended up keeping and which pieces you're like, ah, this isn't great. So by the third box, I actually kept everything. However, my boyfriend is also getting it and he's getting the men's version of it. I've got in the women's boxes. He has had a different experience. His first box was his favorite and he's only gotten two so far. So his second box was a little less than what he wanted. Now let's get into showcasing what I got in my first three boxes. So I did not film me actually opening the boxes and all the items that I got in it, and there's no way to backtrack and see what items I received in each box. But I do have film of each item that I kept from the three different boxes. So that's what we're going to be going through. So here we have my first piece. It's the only thing that I kept from the first box. It has a nice little zipper in the back to make things easy. I don't really ever actually use that zipper. I think it's purely decorational. But one of the things that I do like is that I had wide open arms and what I specified for my box is that I want something that I could either dress up or dress down. I felt like this shirt fell into that pretty well, so I was not too upset with it, actually. It wasn't something that I would normally wear. I wouldn't wear a blouse for the most part or something patterned like that, so exactly what I was looking for to get out of the box. And now these next pieces are from the second box. I, got, I kept this shirt um, because I will be going to the DR, the Dominican Republic, next year, hopefully, for a wedding. So I figured this would be a nice shirt to bring there and just kind of like chill out in a resort on, even though I got it like a year in advance. Plus, I don't really have anything like this in my closet right now. It's set so that you're supposed to tie it in the front, and it's a little low cut for my taste, but it wasn't horrible. And it is a crop top somewhat, so wearing it with the high-rise jeans that I had on there, which is the second thing that I kept from this box. Makes it so you can't really see the cropness of it. Um, the jeans were a pretty good length and they fit me really well. They had pockets both in the front and the back, and the front pockets were actually bigger than I was expecting, which is nice. I can almost fit my entire hand in them. The length was pretty good. It scrunched a little, but not too bad. And I'd say that it fit me pretty well and they were really comfortable jeans. And because you do get a 25% discount if you keep everything from the box, it does encourage you if you're like planning to keep two or three things to end up keeping everything. Because then price-wise, it kind of ends up being in your favor, which is kind of the reason why they do it. So here's the first shirt and my excellent modeling. It's a nice green shirt with somewhat short leave, so it does show off my tattoo. That's one of the things that I didn't want from blouses is for them to show off my tattoos because I would prefer to keep it as business-y as possible and professional. But otherwise the fit was pretty good. One of the problems that I have getting clothes out in the wild is that I am very, very skinny, but am not short. So like I wear smalls usually, so it's either too small, but it fits well to my proportion of like my weight or it's too baggy, but it doesn't like rise up. <laughs> so that's something that I've liked about Stitch Fix is that all the clothing I've gotten from it has actually fit my proportions, which is nice because I'm taller than average for a woman in the US and I am hella skinny. <laughs> so the next two items I'm showing off are 
another blouse. This one is more of a casual one, so I'm not upset that it shows a bit of my tattoo, but it has a nice patterning in the front that I really enjoyed. And then these sweatpants I'm actually still wearing right now that are so, so, so comfortable. I'll be honest, they were $88. I flinched at that price. It was terrifying, but they are one of the softest materials I've ever had, even though my cats have been destroying them. So what I was trying to show there in that video is that um, they pill up a lot. So my cat's claws, they just like sink in. And no matter what, even if I like carefully extract them, it, it's, the pants are ruined. <laughs> um, it does have a cinch belt, or not a cinch, an elastic waist, which is nice. I've never used a drawstring on them because they fit perfectly without using it. So I haven't needed to, but all, all in all, they were very comfortable. And this is what I mean of like, if you end up keeping everything, it ends up working out. So I didn't, I think I only paid like a hundred something for five items of clothing, which for women's clothing and for nice clothing, that's not actually that bad. And considering these were $88 and I only spent like hundred something, pricing came out pretty well. And then the last two pieces of clothing that I got, which these two are probably actually my favorite two, these red pants are super nice, super comfortable. They look really nice, but they're super stretchy and aren't actually that uncomfortable to wear. So for going back to the workforce and putting pants on, they're pretty good. And then the blouse is slightly see-through, so I probably would usually wear a tank top under it, but I was really lazy. So you can see my tattoos and my bra peeking through it. So it's not ideal, but it's something where I think it covers enough that especially with like a beige bra, it would have been perfectly fine. Um, that was the stretch factor on my pants. The pants were a little too long, so it could have been better. It could have been better fit, but all in all, it wasn't that bad. And comparative to most of the time, my jeans end up being too short than too long. It was a different problem to have and I don't mind it. It looks really cute when you scrunch it up with like high top Converse. All in all, I would recommend Stitch Fix, especially if you're trying to broaden your taste and get new items into your wardrobe. Or if you like to switch things up or have more seasonal items, they do change what you receive every season. So my boyfriend just got a box. This the box that the last one I just showed was like a couple months ago. But my boyfriend just got a box and it had like a nice comfortable jacket. It had flannels, it had like long pants. Additionally, if you're interested in getting Stitch Fix, you can get $25 off your first box. If you use the code down in the description below, this is not affiliated or sponsored in any way, shape or form. Stitch Fix, if you'd like to sponsor me, I'd be down for it. But yeah, all in all, I would recommend this. I don't think it's something to get monthly. I would not get it monthly because I don't need that many clothes in my life. Um, but for, especially if you're in that age of like recently graduating college and going out into the workforce and you really need to change your wardrobe and get better pieces, I think Stitch Fix would be great for that because they don't do a lot of like super casual stuff. They have a lot of business professional, business casual items. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've tried Stitch Fix and what your opinions are on it. And yeah, hope you have yourself a magical day and I shall see you next time. Bye.